the next drill we're going to look at is a uh, progression from the single leg extension from four point position. We're going to look at a bird dog, which is a single leg extension with the opposite arm extending at the same time. So the setup is the same as when we're doing um, our single leg extension. We're going to start off in this four point position with our hand under our shoulders, with our shoulder weights tucked back towards our, our back pockets. Um, we're going to grip the floor with our fingertips so we've got a nice firm base. We're going to have our knees under our hips and our toes tucked under. From here I'm creating tension through my arms. I'm pushing my feet into the floor. I'm sucking my belly button in towards my spine. So I'm braced through the middle. Now, just like when we did our single leg extension, we're going to do the same thing, but as we do it, we're going to raise the opposite arm out in front. And then we're going to come down. We're going to brace that middle. Same on the other side. Here. Again, just as I did with a single leg extension, what I'm trying to avoid is rotating through the hips as we do this. Yeah? Just like with the single leg extension, once you're comfortable with the movement, you can test it with a foam roll or something. So, when we get ourselves into our position, we set ourselves up and we're going to set the foam roller. It's going to be balanced along our spine, a long way along our spine here. So then when we come into this position, if we come back, and we are neutral, the roller will stay where it is. If we brace and we come out and we are neutral, the roller will stay where it is. The minute we roll through our hips, the roller is going to come off our back. So it's a great way to give yourself some kind of kinesthetic feedback so you can see whether or not you are tipping or not. Okay? Um, so that is our progression, our bird dog. Do it for 10, 15, 20 reps, hoping that many it says in your program, rest and then repeat.